about mental health in children then? Are things getting better or worse? Well, latest NHS data suggests that mental health has declined by 40% among school children and the NSPCC has told ITV News it delivered over 100,000 mental health counselling sessions to children in the last year. Schools, though, can use events like today's World Mental Health Day to raise awareness. Our reporter Jane Hesketh has spent the day at Crown Hills Community College in Leicester where pupils are being encouraged to open up. This is a special message from ITV's Anton Deck to school children for World Mental Health Day. You see, the world can be a bit of a scary place right now, can't it? And you might feel anxious about it. In fact, mental health has declined in almost 40% of school children. But when we share more, we can ease our stress and reduce our anxiety. The message is clear, mental health matters, and they're encouraging children to write down whatever's bothering them and share it with someone they trust. I thought it was, it was very moving because it's obviously to, it's, it's people that everyone can relate to. They've really simplified it down so that everyone can understand it, so that every student in every classroom, they'll instantly, they'll instantly know what kind of support's out there for them. Um, it's very hard to talk about what you actually feel um, I think everyone talks about mental health, but it's never really narrowed down into what you actually, you know, need to do to kind of get rid of, like, thoughts that are in your mind. Um, I think it's also different to physical health, like, it's not just fixed. Um, so I think it's just our age where it, we find it difficult to, you know, just express our feelings. At Crown Hills Community College, they offer free professional counselling for any student who needs it there is still that stigma attached to mental health so um, it's important that we get that message and raise awareness around mental health so that hopefully the children are taking the knowledge and their resources and their information that we're telling them in schools and they're going home and they're filtering that into the wider community. A study by the mental health charity Mind found that two out of five young people said they didn't have the words to express how they felt about their mental health. I think sometimes when you see the news and you see what's happening and then you kind of get this like, uh, over, like you, can, you can get overwhelmed sometimes by the news and you think will that affect you somehow and you know like if it can happen to other people it can happen to you and then you can get quite you know nervous sometimes. Staff here don't underestimate the power of social media and so they don't allow mobile phones in school during the day. It's a very difficult thing to try and, and sort of get young people to, to understand and accept because sometimes they are they're glued to their phones but I think the fact that we as a school have a policy where obviously we don't allow mobile um, phones into schools is a really, really useful tool actually for everybody so at least they've not got that, there is a, a period of time when they're in school they don't have that going on. Anton Deck's message is all part of ITV's Britain Get Talking campaign, which is launched today. This World Mental Health Day helps us with a different kind of homework. A simple talking task that can help ease our stress and reduce our anxiety. So what are you waiting for? Come on, Britain! Do your homework and get talking. Jane Hesketh, ITV News, Leicester. Rosie, some proactive action there in Leicester to mark World Mental Health Day, but how can parents...